In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God's word from Ezekiel chapter 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. And he led me around them, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. And then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus say to the Lord God, Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a sound, and behold, a rattling, and the bones came together bone to bone. And I looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. And then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they may live. And so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. And then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are clean cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord. And when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends in Christ, this week marks the anniversary of the death of Pope Formosus, who died the first week of April in the year 896. That's over 1,100 years ago. He was part of one of the strangest events ever to take place in the history of the Catholic Church. After Formosus died, his successor, Boniface VI, lived only a couple weeks and died under mysterious circumstances so that his successor, Pope Stephen,